guys, my name is Taylor and I'm from NetBeansTutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create your own methods and apply them to your own parameters or existing objects. Now that does sound really confusing so I'm just going to dive right into it and show you that you've actually been doing this all along and I'm going to show you how to take it to the next level. Okay, so recall in the past that you've written system.out.println. What this is, I'm going to break it down, what this actually is, this is a method okay we're gonna make our own this is already defined in the code so we don't have to actually create it and then its parameters will only be accepted as quotes with some text inside because that's all it knows what to do with well the method we're gonna to create today is gonna to be a multiplication method it's gonna take two numbers and multiply them and print it to the output window so to call the method which we're going to name multiply we're going to type multiply parentheses and then the two numbers that they're going to multiply and then semicolon okay this is going to print two times three equals six in the output window so we're going to go ahead and make that method it is as any other method we type public static void multiply which is the name of our method now the parameters for the actual declaration line for the method go like goes like this for two numbers separated by a comma in in one and in two now what that's going to do with our multiply line up here is it's going to type it's going to make in one be saved as an int for the first number and then it's going to be separated by a comma and then it's going to save in two as an int with a three value pretty simple right well now we're going to need a variable for our answer we're going to type int answer equals n1 times n2. Pretty good so far. Oh, I'm sorry, we actually need a bracket right here. And then add another one right there. Excellent. Now we're going to type, we're, we're going to make it print to the line because at this point it actually does know that n1 times n2 is 6 and it saves it as answer, but it doesn't do anything with that information. So we're going to make it print to the output window to make sure we, so that we know that it's working it's going to type 2 which is n1 times three which is n2 equals six which is our answer okay and let's see if that worked we're gonna hit play oh we're gonna hit play again yeah two, two times three equals six it did function okay well, guys, if you have any questions, please please leave them in the comments below, either on YouTube or my site at netbeanstutorials.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.